I'm spending 24 hours in My Hero Academia Minecraft. For this video, I joined a group of 16 YouTubers to create a My Hero SMP. We've all seen the work Deku has put in to become the number one hero. And that's inspired me to become the strongest person on this server. In all my other videos, I end up getting killed easily. But I won't let that happen this time. And now I have a lot of work to do. So let's begin. Hour one, I got on the server and had to choose between being a hero or a villain. I ended up choosing to become a hero because I just want to bring peace and harmony to the world. And I'll kill anyone that gets in my way. After that, all the participants were gathered and told the rules. Everyone is given three random quirk tokens. These quirk tokens are able to be stolen if you kill your opponent. But we'll have an hour long peace agreement where we're not able to kill each other. Oh, and we're required to use our first quirk token right away. Those are the base rules, but along the way, there will be different hero versus villain missions, which will be crazy. So stick around for that. After we all learned the rules, I cheated a little bit and flew far away from everyone. Then I used my first quirk token. I got the gauntlets out. <gasps> that was kind of cold. I ended up getting Cementos' quirk. No idea if it's good or not yet, but I already know what I want to do. People really think they're going to be able to survive day tokens. I'm killing everyone. But before I could do that, I started mining so I could get some basic protection. And while I was down in the mines, I decided that having my base underground was the best idea so no villain could steal from me. So I dug out a little hovel which will be my base from now on. Hour 2 through 3, while mining, I ran into my first villain. Oh! F Thankfully, I was able to get a what? He has such a long range! What was that range? I was nowhere near him. So I suffered my first death, but it was all right since I just had to get my stuff from my dead body. I have to loot my own corpse. That's a little f***ed up. But now I can get back to my mind. Are you f***ing with me? I, this is going to be a lot harder than I expected. So after that, I left my cave to go fight some mobs. And then I found this. <laughs> my plan to take their quirk tokens is going off without a hitch and i didn't even have to kill him and since i have his quirk tokens now he can't change his quirk his fate is sealed i then immediately left to go put these tokens up but then I accidentally clicked one. But thank God I got Dobby's quirk, cremation. And let me tell you, this quirk was fire. Literally. I got cremation now. Oh my God. I'm bodying. Holy and now with this goaded quirk, I left to go murder some My Hero mobs. And then I was immediately killed by Rappa. Don't steal, steal from, oh Ugh. This man has got to be the strongest character in this mod Ugh. besides all for one. Oh, <gasps> oh, that's, that's lethal. But after that, I went on a little killing spree of mobs. And then I somehow ended up finding the villain's base. Oh, oh, I found the villain's base, oh shit. After I managed to escape, a plan hit my head. I think it's prime time to go rob they ba their base. <gasps> I decided that I should sneak up to their base and destroy everything they had while they're not on the server. But while I was carrying out my righteous plan, one villain snuck up on me. So I had to respectfully end his life. I then took their good stuff and destroyed the rest. <laughs> I burnt it all to a crisp. And it's all in the pursuit of peace and harmony. Hour 4 through 15. After coming this far, I realized that in order for me to truly enforce peace and harmony, I have to stop playing around and truly reach a level of power that no one could comprehend. I needed to become the strongest person on this server. So I decided that no matter who it was, good, evil, hero, villain, I needed to kill them. So I could get stronger. So Cementos was killed. Rappa was <laughs> murdered. Bakugo, Muscular, Todoroki, Inasa, Dobby. Oh. Huh? How? That's the exact definition of a scam there. I killed this man and from beyond the grave, magically, he became a main character and ended my life. Endeavor 
Anyone and everyone was killed over and over and over and over again, simply for me to get stronger. And thanks to their sacrifice, I was able to unlock all of my abilities. But before that, chat asked me this. If you donate $100, will I throw it back? I don't know how to throw it back, all right? See, <laughs> that's Who the thing. That? Yeah, uh, chat can be weird sometimes. They also made Carl sing I See a Dreamer. Right for the slaughter, but I got no, but I got no. And that's a member only video, so think about joining that. You get early access to all my videos and member only videos too, so check that out. Anyways, now I'm able to use Flame Blast, Hell's Curtain, Firewall, Jet Burn, Flame Cloak, and of course, Remation. I'll mainly be using Jet Burn since it's just goaded. I mean, look at this. I'm killing everyone so easily. But now that I've unlocked all my skills, the only thing left for me to do is get some goaded armor. How do you make the armor? I don't know how to actually make netherite armor. <gasps> and then grind until it was time to face the villains. But while I was mining, I ended up running into the villains all for one user. She appeared right in front of me and she could have taken my quirk at any time. But I was confident that if she tried me, I would have burnt her to a crisp. So she flew away. And now I know who to target in the next mission. Hour 16 through 17, the first mission. On hour 16, I got a transmission from Hero HQ. Upon Oil Rig SS Al, there's a computer that house information of all S Class heroes and their family's location. So we must find this computer before the villains do. And if we don't, hundreds will die. This is a perfect time for me to showcase my unbelievable power. Along with me on this mission are four other heroes. We have Nathan, Butter Jaffa, Red, Jinji, and Rin. Everyone will have three lives. And after you die for the third time, you're done. The game plan is for me, Red, and Rin to stay together. Rin will erase their quirks and Red and I will kill them from far away. But right as the mission started, and go boys, all right, let's go, Nathan, I'm sticking with damage. you, don't, don't right. do anything stupid. The villains offer one user rust at us. I'm killing Mila, uh, she's right here, she's flying. No, it's killed, it's, it's killer, it's killer. Send her to the afterlife. I tried shooting her down with my flames, but she managed to drop off into the ocean below. I can't see her name. I fell. I'm alive though. And while chasing her down, She's coming up, she's coming back up, she's coming back up. Another villain snuck up behind me and forced me to drop into the Yosin as well. Die, bitch! But this was the perfect opportunity to end Mila's life. Sadly, she could fly away and was fast as f I'm fast as f So now I have to find a way to get back to the top of the oil rig. Thankfully, I saw another hero and got his help. But then a villain tried to shoot me. Managed to survive. Hey, yo, it's me, it's someone right there behind. So I had to kill him. No, you never should have tried me because you never should have tried me because you never should have done that. Sadly, he and I were teleported away, which saved his life. But it's fine. I'll get another chance. I thought I was teleported. Butter had found a clue to where the computer is hidden. Oh, boy, boy, I've got, I found two of the hints. All right, so the first hint, you won't need to break anything to get to me. Third hint out of three is I'm where the sun won't touch. So it's hidden somewhere where the sun can't get to. The clue made no sense to me. But then while I was searching, the all for one user pulled up on me. Too bad for her. I'm a god. Oh, damn. Uh, Whoa, Mila, Mila. Uh, it's okay. I did actually end up killing one of the villains there. And I have two more lives. I'm still in it. Oh, shit. <laughs> Yo. She spawn camped me like this is Call of Duty. But it's fine. I'm on my last life. I can still bring this okay. home. Oh, wait, that's the wrong one. <laughs> oh. Why are we still here? Just to suffer. This f***ing quirk. Did you hear her? She said, whoopsie daisy. Whoops. She accidentally killed me in one attack. I put so much time and effort to become the strongest. And she just has an attack that can one-shot me in full netherite armor. Hey, Mila. Hi. Bye. <laughs> it's fine. We still have more missions. And Butter was able to pull off the dub in this one by finding the computer. Yes, there is. Uh, Hold on. A lot of... <gasps> guys! Okay. Guys! Okay. Guys! Okay. Hold on. Okay. Is there a chest? What? Is that a chest in the center? Is that a chest? Uh, yeah, got it. You got, wait, is that actually it? Yes, the computer. Yeah. Like, no. take it back, take it back, no. take it back, take it back, no. quick, no. take it back, take it back, quick, Gigi, fly back, Man, get there. Just go. Me up. I need to take some serious pauses for the next mission. Yeah, yeah. No, I moved away, I couldn't deal. Oh my God. Yeah, I'm not dumb. 
our 18th through 19th, the second mission. I received a new transmission that the villains have taken hostages in a school. I should have known that one of the villains was a school shooter. If there are 60 people in this library, yo, what the fuck? My Glock holds 15. Let's start subtracting. I should have seen it coming. But due to this news, I had to change my quirk. I simply can't survive with cremation. So I took a chance and I ended up getting muscular's quirk. And after testing it with my teammates abilities, I took no damage at all. Nothing. None. None. Zero. There's no way for me to die. So once again, my fellow heroes have grouped up to rescue the hostages. And we decided that the mission doesn't end until there's only one side left standing. We all once again, have three lives so we have to kill each and every one of them three times and now with my strong defense i'm confident i won't suffer a single death and i'll make sure let's go, right, let's go. go. Right, right, right. Let's start this. these hostages get home safely okay all right that ain't the best news in the world all right anyone in here you, in no, okay, no. okay. There's nothing I can do. But like, I have the strongest defense quirk along with netherite enchanted armor. And I still got one shot. It's like I'm getting hit with a United States of Smash. Whoa! But it's spammable. And it can hit you through walls. There, there's literally nothing I can do. I continued fighting, just trying to do something. But when a whirlwind user found me, it was basically all over. Ah! God damn, how long was that? Sometimes I could escape it. <laughs> nah, yes, you ain't getting away from me. <laughs> but they can use that move every three seconds. So I just die no matter what. So of course, this ended up in the villain's complete victory. Wait, it's what? Just Gingy we win? Okay. Got him! Let's go! They can kill every hero, except for one, it's his butter. And going forward, unless something changes, then the villains will just win over and over and over again. Hopefully something changes. Hour 20 through 24, the final mission. After the last mission, my hero mod got an update and it nerfed a whirlwind. So there's hope that I can get a W. So in anticipation of this, I went around murdering mobs just so I could make my muscular quirk as strong as possible. And once I finally got 43 points into strength, I became immortal. Literally nothing can damage me. Not even Butter's United States of Smash. Yes. Oh, shit. Yo, yeah, that's awesome. Yo, how much damage does that do? Not much? Uh, zero. So now I'm ready to wreak havoc. In hour 24, the mission was simple. A battle royale at a campsite. As always, we have three lives, but this time there's no hostages to hold us back. Once the mission started, we all went into the campsite as a group and looked for the villains. And suddenly, three of them came flying at us. Oh, Hello. What up? <laughs> their plan was to stay up in the sky and make dive attacks on us like they're in the army. And I simply can't hit them because they're flying fast as hell and just in the air. So I gave up on trying to catch some slacking. But thankfully, two other villains pulled up out of nowhere. <laughs> hey, there's people we can fight. <laughs> what up, Aaron? You still got electric, dude? So I started a brawl against them. But as we were fighting, we noticed that there was an issue. We're just gonna be here for all eternity, you know? None of us were taking damage. <laughs> I know, it's just gonna be left click simulator. We were literally hitting each other with everything we had, but not a single one of us was getting hurt in the slightest. But then a villain came out of nowhere and erased my quirk. Uh, oh, he has a race. I did, I did, he's running, he's running. <sighs> that was a close one. I was easily killable. But since I'm a goat, I was able to escape. But then we all noticed how unfun and boring this was since none of us could kill each other. So we decided to give everyone a random quirk token and fight with that new quirk and no armor. My quirk token ended up giving me- I finally get to know what I would have gotten had I changed. Cement. So I'm officially f This quirk is literal ass. As soon as the battle started, my own teammate killed me. I got killed by my own teammate right there. I literally have no defense and no killing moves. So all I could do is annoy people. Like here when I got Aaron stuck repeatedly on a block or when I'm putting up walls. 
Oh, what? That was a nice block. <laughs> I know, I have brain. That was a nice block. Now, that was a little bit funny. But I have to end things here. PvP is impossible at this level since most people are just immortal. And I couldn't complete my goal of becoming the strongest. And my 24 hours are up. So I'm ending this here. Black hole. Oh, what the hell? Uh, where am I? Why is it so cold? What is this? Why are there so many zombies? Am I gonna have to survive 24 hours in a zombie apocalypse? And what are you?